What a cool night, uh, great night for the Falcons, our, our fans, our community, our student section. Um, you know, I, th I thought we played some really good basketball to beat a, a really good Memphis team. And um, I'm just really, our defensive effort was outstanding. Um, and we just had so many different kids, with, you know, Nyla not playing tonight, I thought we had so many different kids step up. And uh, it was a great, great team win. First of all, I mean, uh, is Alyssa Brett all right? And do you know if any words were exchanged uh, you know, afterwards <clears throat> in the post-game handshake? We're still kind of figuring all that, all those things out, what happened. Mm -hmm. Any update on Brett? Is she we're still figuring all that out too. Yeah. I don't know. Day by day. Yeah. Day by day. Third quarter, twenty-eight to eight advantage. Obviously, it was huge. You know, you guys are making shots. The arena is really getting pumped up. Yeah. Just how big was that stretch? To, to basically blow the game open. There. Uh, it, it was magical. You know, I thought we did a good job of getting stops, and then connecting stops with scores. I mean, I remember Alyssa hit a few in a row and, you know, Allison really got us going strong to start the second half, setting a tone inside. Um, it was just fun. It was fun. Our, the team's fun. They play hard. They play together. You know, they, they kind of just do what it takes um, for each other. And I thought the third quarter was just a great, illustrated our team at a, a great level, a joy and energy and enthusiasm and a togetherness. How were you guys able to find energy late in the game to hold them off, especially someone like Amy Blasco, yeah. basically the whole game, they yeah. pressing. How were you guys able to just, had, just do that? We had a good enough lead, so that helped. Um, you know, they kind of cranked it up a little bit. But we, we made enough baskets. I thought we got enough stops. We turned it over too much. But some of it is the game just changes even the way you're playing. You know, we're kind of playing to make, take care of the ball, and they're playing because they got to get the ball back. But. You know, that, that part of the game, some of it's just the context of the game. Uh, but, man, what a cool win. That Memphis team's you know, they're really a good team. They've had a great season. And um, they're physical. They're big. We knew the rebounding was going to be a big deal. Um, and I, I just thought our kids battled their tails off tonight. Coach, when you get a win over a program like Memphis, yeah. and you do it in the fashion that you did, can you talk a little bit not just about the impact that can have on your program in terms of the platform that it gets received by the NCAA, but by mm. just the back of everyone who didn't make a statement like this, and that's probably one of the most dominant in your conference. I think the MAC keeps showing that we're worthy of paying good attention to. I think our league continues to show that. I mean, Toledo showed that in the NCAA tournament. We've been showing that through the NIT. We've played really good teams, and you know, um, I'm, I, you come off the conference tournament and there's such a disappointment in that, you know, and it's that that's just a real part of our journey. That's a real part of our season. And we all kind of had to take a deep breath and move through that together. And my gosh, this group is resilient because to, to go through the last few weeks of the season that we had, which were just a gauntlet, um, you know, to make the NCAA tournament, we know is a big deal. And to have come a little short of that and the way this team has regrouped and continued to compete and continued to love to play at the high level that they're doing is like, I mean, it's like one of the coolest things you can experience as a coach to just see such a just transformative life skills of these kids and their resilience and, and their ability to continue to compete. I mean, that was game, I think that was our 36th game. Like, you know, and we asked them to play really hard with the way we play. And I, I'm just so, I'm so proud of them. The crowd tonight was electric. It was. Well, what was it like just seeing everybody come together for that? You know, it's so cool when, when I came here, this is my fifth season, when I came here five years ago, you know, when we recruited all these kids, this was the vision we sold. You know, this was the vision that we knew could happen here. The electric atmosphere, a community that loves women's basketball, a tradition that has so much to be proud of, uh, a student section that's engaged, and to see, you know, all those things come together and for our student athletes get to experience that. But, you know, they bought into that vision and then they've done the work um, to make that a reality, and it, it's it, it, it's a wonderful place to play, and um, I, I'm so happy for our kids. I mean, you, you can bring all those people together, but sometimes it takes a moment yeah. for everybody to ignite. It seemed like Lexi's back-to-back -back three is oh, yeah. what did it. Uh, how important is her role sometimes as that spark plug for <laughs> just the team and mm -hmm. the arena? Lexi is a spark plug. So, you know, the, the thing I always share about Lexi when people ask me, well, what is it? She, Lexi's a winner. So she's a winner. 
And some nights that's making threes, some nights that's taking four charges, some nights that's coming up with five loose balls. But um, when she's been here, we've won a lot of games. And when she's been in uniform, we've won a lot of games. And when she was in high school, she won a lot of games. And a credit to her, she's a kid that will literally do whatever it takes to find a way to impact uh, a way for her team to win. What's it say about support the university you got a home game in Florida? It's awesome. I mean, it's, um, I, 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 it's a wonderful continued opportunity, and I want the community and the fans to continue to come out. And, you know, I shared with my team today, because we talk a lot in our program, we have core values. We talk a lot about being a teammate and what it means to be a teammate. And basketball, in my opinion, is the ultimate team sport. And when you play in a way that demonstrates being a great teammate, it multiplies, right? And then the community becomes great teammates. And when you're out in the community and you're engaged, there's just good things multiply. And I, I shared that with our team, like continue to do the things that multiply goodness in a community. And, and tonight we saw that. We had a whole gym full of great teammates cheering on the Falcons. And um, we're excited to have them again Monday night. Any other questions for Coach? I know you said you're still in the process of figuring things out, yeah. what happened at the end. What are the steps in figuring that stuff out? Where um, you, go from here? you know, that that's just a lot of different conversations and people involved. And um, I think we're still trying to kind of loop together how that, what's going to happen. Did you know Sam was in Oh, go ahead. I feel like they've all been fit. I feel like we've played in physical games for the last month because they've all mattered. They've all been high stakes and playing for something important. Um, so, you know, I think that's something we see consistently.